Welcome back to the third tutorial for Blue Jean Dream. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of wax paper. As you can see, I have a cup here. And we're just going to pull the, um, <clears throat> the pendant that we've made with the little jewels glued on. Oops, try to find the camera here. Um, and we're going to coat it with something called Triple Thick. Now, I know you've seen some of the other tutorials, so you've seen me use this. This stuff is great. You can get it for about 10 bucks at your local hobby store, uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby, whichever. Um, it's fantastic. It's basically a clear resin that you don't have to mix any parts with. You just brush it on. And what we're going to do is we're going to seal the final decoupage and the glitter and everything else with the, tri the triple thick. So the first thing you want to do is you want to kind of stir it up, which I'm doing off camera here because you guys can do that. Um, and then you're going to use a, an old paintbrush. You don't want to use a really nice or really expensive paintbrush because it will gum up your paintbrushes and you're putting it on the wax paper so basically to keep it from um, getting all over your surfaces I just use as you can see a butcher's block to do a lot of my work so that it's a little bit easier for me but whatever your surface is you want to either put some newspaper down or something where it's not going to um, damage the surface you're working on so I'm using the cup here just to keep the piece in place so I can move it around um, without it being stuck to something so what I usually do is I'll go ahead and mix the triple thick get it ready and then I will spray on a little bit of mold release you can use vegetable compound as well um, like a cooking spray um, but I use something called man 200 and it's just a mold release which I'll grab here real quick and it's a black and yellow label. You can order it online. It's relatively inexpensive, less than, you know, 20 bucks. But any kind of mold release will work. Like I said, you can use a cooking spray. And you just spray it on the wax paper first. And that prevents, if any of the triple thick gets on anything, then um, basically it stops it from sticking to the paper or whatever surface you're using. And I just get a little on the brush and I just go ahead and go over the entire decoupage all the way inside and of course you're going to let it dry about 24 hours for the top side and then once it's dry you can flip it over and do the back um, if you do happen to brush over some of the jewels you can leave it that way if you want I prefer not to and what I usually do is actually wipe off any um, excess that gets onto the jewels themselves uh, some people like to coat the jewels as well to give it a more um, coated look but I think it looks a bit plasticky so I, I don't tend to do that but you can I mean it's really up to you it's your project but as you can see I'm kind of going over the sides here making sure that I'm covering all the decoupage this will seal it as well and protect it from you know weather or anything else so that you have a really nice surface when you're finished and you usually want to wait about 24 hours sometimes a little more just to make sure that it's really dried and you can get the other side once you finish that and you're just basically coating all the surfaces um, the glitter anything else that you want you can sand triple thick um, it doesn't sand as well as some other resins um, because it does not get like a, it dries clear and it will dry solid but it, it's almost like a rubbery feel so you will want to go ahead and use a different type of resin if you're wanting to sand and mold this but there you go, you just let that dry 24 hours and wipe off any excess that you might have and you just do the, the same exact thing to the other side and then your pendant will be finished. So I thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe to the channel and look forward to the next tutorial. Thanks a lot.